Um, and right on deck, we're going to have Stanley Cups. Or, well, we're going to have hockey season. We got a while for the Stanley Cup. But the time that you bet on your Stanley Cup futures would be right around now. So break it down for me, Rick and Bob. Who are you looking at as some Stanley Cup hopefuls this season? Hey, guys, don't forget to check out the official sponsor of Picks and Parlays. It's BetMGM. For all new accounts, they're hooking you up with up to 1000 bucks in a risk-free first bet when you download the app and use the promo code MORNING. Yeah, looking forward to the season. It, it is coming up quick, Allie. Like you said, I mean, before you know it, September, the training camps, and then hockey gets going in, in early to mid-October. So excited about this season. And when I started to look at these uh, teams that are the, the true contenders, you know, the thing is we have seen some repeats lately with Tampa Bay, and before that it was Pittsburgh. But to me, it is so hard to repeat. But again, I can't help but be looking at the Colorado Avalanche for this season. I think they're at least going to come out of the Western Conference and and be able to represent in the Stanley Cup uh, playoffs uh, championship or the finals, I should say. But the thing is, I don't see them winning again. I'm, I'm one of those guys. I definitely don't look for the repeats. I think I almost eliminate them from the picture. But in this case, Colorado is such a strong team. Um, Ali, I don't know what you think of them, but to me, they're the most dynamic team in hockey. And they showed that last season and it was a phenomenal year for them. Well, you know, I'm in Vegas and Vegas Golden Knights have to play those guys. So they're not my favorite team, you know, not not my favorite team to root for. But they're incredibly exciting to watch. They're so fast paced and they're in a division where I mean, they can or conference where they can get some business taken care of. So I do like that. You know, fun fact, our friend Detroit Lenny told me that every time the Avalanche have won the Stanley Cup the following year, the Detroit Red Wings win it. So. <laughs> Maybe we should be looking at a future on the wings. What do you think about that? <laughs> well, uh, the, you know, I looked at the dark horse candidates, but Detroit is in a, a rebuild mode for sure. And they're, they're getting better. They're looking good. Maybe they squeeze into the playoffs somehow this year, but I kind of doubt that. I mean, the odds are really against even making the playoffs, but uh, definitely Detroit has a bright future, but not yet for, the, for this uh, season. But I'll tell you who I am looking at um, from the East for this year. You know, the New York... Um, Rangers are my dark horse candidate because of a guy by the name of Shesterkin. Their goalie is phenomenal. He is absolutely phenomenal. And, you know, he's the reason that they went as far as they did last year. But the thing is, if, if they had not beaten Carolina in the playoffs, I really believe that Carolina would have knocked off Tampa Bay. And, you know, what ended up happening, Tampa Bay made it to the finals because they were able to uh, to get by the, the Rangers. But if if Carolina had gotten in, I think they could have made it because they beat Tampa Bay two out of three last year. And the only time the Lightning won was in overtime. And uh, Carolina is just such a gritty, hard nosed team. You know, their coach, Rod Brindamore, they they all play. He, he the way he played was you know, so physical and tough and de so demanding of everything. And he he's put together a team that plays like he like he like how he played and, and has that same gritty um, ability to take over games. And they're built for the playoffs. That's the key is Carolina is the type of team that's built for the playoffs. And because when you're hard nosed like that, just like Brenda Moore is, you know, they are a tough team. And if their goalie hadn't got hurt in game seven, of the series uh, with the Rangers, their goalie got hurt in that game. They probably would have advanced and, and made it to the Eastern Conference Finals and played Tampa Bay, and then who knows what would have happened. So Carolina is my team to come out of the East uh, this year and actually to, to win it all. I, that's the team that I would put my money on for a futures bet. I love those tough, gritty teams. It's like they wake up in the morning and they eat, like they toast an English muffin and then they put a hockey puck on it and that's their breakfast sandwich. Yes, you know? yes. Eating hockey pucks for breakfast and stuff. Um, so loving that. All right. So we like the Hurricanes to be the Stanley Cup champs, Western Conference champs, the Avalanche, and the dark horse for the Stanley Cup. We're looking at the Rangers, correct? Yes. The Rangers are, are really a high quality team. They're well coached. And when you have a goalie like Shesterkin, now that, that's the key with futures that makes it so tough is an injury a, a significant injury can completely derail your season and if Shesterkin was to get hurt I mean that changes everything for the Rangers but he is so good I mean the only other guy that's like him is Vasilevsky for Tampa Bay those are the two elite goalies in the league and the Rangers have enough around him 
and are so well coached that I think that they're a threat for sure um, to, to get there again and that they could, th that's where I would put my money if I was putting it on a dark horse candidate. Isn't that Gallant? Isn't it our old yes, coach? Yes, that's right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes, he was with Vegas. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we treated him poorly and now he's gone and he's with a better team and no one's talking about BGK in this segment, are they? No, no, they're not, <laughs> Vegas. No, they're but, not. But Vegas is a quality team. I mean, they're they're going to be up there, you know, but I don't I don't see them, you know, coming out of the West, not with Colorado there. Colorado's just so strong.